7.6, number 17. Here we have an equation with some algebraic fractions in it. What we're going to want to do is multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD and make the denominators cancel out. So we need to find the LCD. In order to find it, we need to first factor the denominators. So the first expression factors out is x take away 5 and x plus 2. The second one, difference of squares, x plus 5, x minus 5. And the third one, trinomial factoring like the first one, x plus 5, x plus 2. So those are the factor denominators. To build the LCD that we're going to multiply both sides by, take the entire first denominator, x minus 5, x plus 2, and then from the second denominator, look to see any piece that's missing in the LCD from it. We already have the x minus 5. We don't have the x plus 5 yet, so we're going to include that as a factor of the LCD. And then for the last denominator, same idea. Look to see if there's anything missing. We already have the x plus 5. We already have the x plus 2. So each denominator is contained within the LCD completely, and we have no extra pieces that we don't need. So there's the LCD. Now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. So let's rewrite the equation, and I'm going to try to condense it a bit and write it smaller so I have room to write everything. So the first fraction, second fraction, and I'm going to keep the denominators in their factored form. That way I'm going to be able to see what kind of canceling I can do once I multiply both sides of the equation. And now we multiply both sides by the entire LCD, and I'm going to list these vertically just because I'm running out of space. But they are all multiplying up onto the numerator. So both sides get the LCD. And what we need to do now is give each separate fraction the LCD as a multiplier. And what's going to happen is that we're going to get cancellation. So when this first fraction multiplies by the LCD, the x minus 5 and the x plus 2 cancel out. We're left with the x plus 5 times the numerator of the fraction x minus 4. Carry down the plus sign. x plus 5, x minus 5. So the plus 5 and minus 5 on the LCD cancel out. x plus 2 is left. And the x plus 3 of the numerator there. Then on the last fraction, the x plus 5 cancels out the x plus 2 cancels out, we're left with x minus 5 and the numerator. And now we have a new equation with absolutely no denominators, which is exactly what we want. Next step is going to be to distribute and then combine like terms. So first distributing, we get x squared minus 4x plus 5x minus 20 plus, bringing down that plus sign, x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6 equals 2x squared plus 13x minus 10x then minus 13 times 5 which is 65 So let's go ahead and combine like terms. So we have x squared, x squared, that gives us 2x squares, 
So then we look at the x's. We have minus 4x plus 5x, so that's 1x. Plus 3x is 4x. Plus 2 is plus 5x. Actually, that'll be a 6. Because we have 5 minus 4 here is 1, and then plus 5 over here. So it's plus 6x. And then for the numbers, we have minus 20. And plus 6 gives us minus 14. And that equals 2x squared plus 13 minus 10 is plus 3x minus 65. Okay, so we distributed, we combined like terms. Now we're going to move the x's to different to one side of the equation and numbers to the other side. And here we both have 2x squared on both sides of the equation. So that's going to cancel out. We can subtract it from both sides. That's gone. So now we have 6x minus 14 equals 3x minus 65. Let's take away 3x on both sides. That leaves us with 3x minus 14 equals minus 65. Now we want to move numbers to the other direction. Add 14 both ways. 3x equals minus 51. Divide by 3 and we will have our answer. x equals minus 17. And then looking back at the original equation, where we had denominators, our final answer cannot be x is 5, so let's put what we can't have up here, because that would make this denominator 0. It cannot be x is minus 2. That would make a 0 there. It cannot be x is minus 5. So those are unacceptable answers, and we didn't get that for an answer, so we're all set. So x equals minus 17.